excited to be here. My name is Giovanni Venusi. I work as a software engineer at a company called Property Simple. And today I'll be, I'll be speaking about the spinners. So uh, who here knows uh, what optimistic guy is? Like, who, has, who knows? OK, that's cool. Uh, so let's start with the spinners. Oh, let me turn this on. Oh, Murphy is slow. OK, uh, spinners. So we see them everywhere around the web nowadays, right? Uh, personally, I hate them. <laughs> I hate them, and people in general don't like them. Uh, but why is that? So the main issue with the spinners or any sort of loading indicator is that they make people watch the clock. They make people be aware that something is going on and that they need to wait for it. But what's even worse is that it can make some interactions to look slower than if you don't provide any sort of feedback. So what we can use to solve this? So we could use optimistic UI. Uh, it simply means to simulate a positive response for the server. So even if we don't have a response yet, we can just assume that it will work, and most of the time we have enough data in memory to display the end result. So let's see a few examples. Uh, let's start with Twitter. So when you like a tweet, you click the like button, and you see the icon updated immediately, and also the like count. They're using optimistic UI here. Same with Todoist. This is a Todo list application. When you type like a new item and you I click send, you can see it right away. And the same happens with Gmail. When you compose an email, you click send, uh, the email disappears, and, and you can continue using the app. I think what is important here is that with the optimistic UI, you decouple the UI from the network. So when to use it? When to use optimistic UI? Uh, the most important thing is that the request is likely to succeed. It should work most of the time and fail only in rare occasions. Because you need to deal with errors. Like, if, something, if an error happens, what do you, do you display an error message or maybe a retry button? Um, you could retry it yourself. And you need to decide what to do in those cases. Second is that the action is not critical. Because you don't want to use optimistic UI uh, for a visa form, for example, or to transfer money. Because people want to be sure that uh, the action succeed. Uh, lastly, I would suggest you to start with uh, binary action, like yes or no, uh, like something, delete, or bookmark something. So now, let's do some coding. Um, I have some code here in the screen. Um, and you can see the, the output. Like, uh, it's a very simple uh, blog post. I'm, loading, I'm using a lot of to get the data. And we're, we're going to add a like button. So um, I'll start with a emoji. <laughs> it's a simple emoji. And you can see the output there. So now to make it work, I'm going to add, I'm going to surround the icon with a button. Uh, so this is called a server action. Oh, sorry, has an, an action on the server. So you click this, uh, this button, and after a while, you see the final result. Uh, but you still need to wait a bit to, to see the result. So now we're going to add a, a, like a loading indicator. This is a clock emoji, as you can see in the code. So now you click the emoji. And you can see the, the clock emoji immediately. And after a while, you see the final result. So here we have our dear spinner. <laughs> but uh, besides that, we have a fully functional application. Uh, because this is uh, the minimum that you need to do anyways to have a working application. So now we're going to integrate, uh, we're going to use optimistic UI in this code. So let's see how it looks. Uh, yeah, as you can see, if we are loading, we just get the, the, the data that we sent to the server and display the final result. So now you click this, and you see the end result immediately. You don't need to wait. So if you use this, uh, the application feels way smoother than if you don't. Like, it's very good to use. Uh, as you can see, it's very easy to integrate. If you don't like it, you can just go back and, uh, to the previous state. Uh, now we're going to see a second example. It's a very quick one. This is taken from the Remix website. Uh, this is a bit more complex. As you can see, uh, uh, we have a form to create an invoice. When we click Create, we display the final result immediately with the data that we already had from the form. I love that this is on the Remix website, by the way. Uh, so before I finish my presentation, I would like to give you some homework. So next time that you work on your application or any feature, uh, think where you can use optimistic UI and give it a try, because it's simply to integrate and simply to roll back if you don't like it. So if you do it, please send me a message, because I would love to know about your experience with it. Thank you.